ESCON register which needs to program to make establish the serial communication between microcontroller and peripherals. So ESCON register which stands for serial control register. The serial control register programming which is effective or serial communication and coming to serial ESCON register bits. So which is 8 bit register. So coming to this 8 bits of your ESCON register which is D0 to D7 and coming to the bits which is SM0, SM1, SM2, REN, TB8, RB8, TI and RA. So these are the 8 bits of your ESCON register. So coming to this bit description of individual and all bits we will maintain default logic 0. So what is the default hexadecimal value for your ESCON register which is 00H and which is maintaining by default and coming to the bits description of individual which is SM0 and SM1 these two bits are used for mode selection. So once you people are programming these two bits the microcontroller mode will be defined and coming to this SM0 if you are making 00 here so which is works with mode 0 and what is the meaning of this mode 0 here and already you know that how the UART will start your data by followed by start bit data and stop bit. And whenever you people are making these two bits as 0, 0, so you have to send by shift your register bit by bit. So shift your register means once you are passing a character A, so the standard ASCII equivalent of A character is 65. So which is hexadecimal equivalent is 41H, that means which is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And once you want to transmit this A character bits, so you people have to follow this shifting process and always the data will be transmitted from LSB side to MSB side. The first position bit will transmit once and then again you people have to do shifting process to make your next bit transmission. So for that process you need whenever you people are selecting with mode 0. And next you people are making these two bits as 0 1 then you are selecting with mode 1. And here you doesn't need any shifting process and here which is supporting directly simply you can place your data between start and stop 8 bit data and which is supporting with variable baud rate. So this is the most important thing here which is supporting variable baud rate. Generally baud rate how can you define your baud rate? The number of bits transmitted are received per second which is defined as baud rate. So this baud rate microcontroller is supporting with different speeds. So, so different speeds means so like generally people will call the internet speed with 1 Mbps, uh, Kbps that means here Kbps and Mbps stands for what? kilobits per second. So this kilobits per second means which is sending like 1 kilobits per second which is defined as baud rate. Technically if you want to call this which is a baud rate but our people will mention this it is a speed. Okay. So here baud rate means how can you define the number of bits transmitted or received per second which is defined as baud rate here. And now in the case of mode 1 which is allows only this 8 bit data between start and stops and which is directly sends because it doesn't need any shifting process in the case of mode 1. Next, once you people are making these two bits as 10, it is mode 2. And in between start and stop bits, you people can make 9 bit data. And which is supporting with fixed baud rate. So it is not possible to change the baud rate of your device by selecting this mode 2. And once you people are making selecting these two bits as 11, which is mode 3, and which is also supporting 9 bit UART with variable baud rate. So these are the more selections of your microcontroller whenever you are looking for selecting the two bits as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, so finally, once you are looking to choice or once you are looking to communicate with your microcontroller, so mode 1 is the best option for us. Why? Because which, which is supporting 8 bit UART and with different baud rates because you doesn't know the external device which is connecting with which is worked with what baud rate. So if you are looking for programming change the baud rate, you can change in the case of mode 1. Okay, so mode 1 is more preferable for us in the case of uh, SCON register. Next, what about this SM2 which is not a used in 8051 case, you are looking in 8052 because 8052 microcontroller supports two serial ports. So for selecting two serial ports, you need this additional mode selection bit. Okay, so which is don't care condition in the case of 8051. Next, what about REN bit? which is REN stands for receive enable. So this receive enable bit, once you are making logic one, 
it allows the data from external device to microcontroller so this ren bit which is by default logic 0 and when it will become 1 so whenever if it wants to enable the reception from external device to microcontroller so we have to make this ren bit logic as 1 otherwise it will remain 0 and what about this tb8 and rb8 so these are the two stop bit monitor status bits because and always you people are looking to this start bit logic as 1 and stop bit logic as uh, start bit logic as 0 and stop bit logic as 1 so whenever you want to identify the stop bit error because so this is tb8 tb8 stands for here transmit bit 8 what is the eighth bit of your communication which will comes under stop bit and if you have any problem with your stop bit then so this tb8 in, our, our, in the case of transmission this tb8 automatically set to 1 and in the case of reception this rb8 is going to set to 1 if you have any stop bit error with your device okay and what about these two and by default otherwise this tb8 and rb8 remains 0 when these two bits are going to set one automatically whenever you have any error with your communication whenever you have any stop bit error with your communication next whenever you are looking to programming this ti and ri bits so this is ti and ri ti stands for transmitter interrupt and ri stands for receive interrupt so this transmitter interrupt how it will works which is by default logic 0 when it is going to set to 1 so whenever your 1 byte of data transmission is over then this ti automatically set to 1 and when this ri is going to set to 1 whenever the 1 byte of data is received from external device to microcontroller then this ri is going to set to 1 otherwise these two bits also remain 0 so the coming to this 4 bits which are not programmed by programmer they will automatically set to once whenever you have error with your stop bit error with your transmission tb8 automatically set to 1 and whenever you have error with your stop bit stop bit error with your reception rb8 is going to set to 1 when this ti is going to set to 1 whenever your one byte of data transmission is over like a flag bit in our timer case how the timer completes one complete cycle after that the flag is auto automatically set to 1 right the same thing for in the case of serial communication one, once the one byte of data is transmitted from microcontroller to peripheral then ti automatically set to 1 and once this ri when it is going to set to 1 whenever the external device is external device is sent some data to microcontroller once it will receive one byte of data this ri automatically set to 1 otherwise which will remain zeros then finally what is the hexadecimal value we have to assign for programming this escon register so what you discussed about this mode selection the mode 1 is more preferable over here so i am making these two bits as 0 1 and sm20 because it is a don't care and ren just i am making enable 1 because i want to do both transmission and reception operations with my microcontroller then this tb8 will remain zeros ti and ri so finally which hexadecimal value you have to assign for your escon register in programming 50h so this is the final hexadecimal value you have to assign for your escon register so this is about your escon register individual bits and which, which is also bit addressable bit addressable means in programming you people can access the logic of individual bits in assembly or c okay so once you want to follow the serial communication so you people have to follow some steps clearly so what are those steps to for, to make your serial communication with your peripherals the first one is set escon register value so this is the first step for serial communication as establishment and second one is select timer one in mode two and third one is set the baud rate by using formula th1 is equal to minus x and fourth step is so start the timer and fifth step is so load the value with your sbuf register what you want to transmit so assign any value with your sbuf register suppose if you people want to transmit any character just assign with your sbuf register and next so because once you data assign for your sbuf register then you have to monitor the ti in the case of transmission and in the case of reception you have to monitor ri so you people have to wait here wait until ti set to 1 because a TI is the only option for us whether the transmission is complete or not. So once TI set to 1 then you people will think that SBUF register completes its transmission from microcontroller to any peripheral. And if you have repetition in the program that means 
so you people wants to send the next character then make it clear clear ti or ri in the case of transmission you have to clear ti in the case of reception you have to clear ri so next repeat the process repeat the process from step 5 and next finally if your communication is over then stop the timer so these are the fundamentals like these are the six eight steps you have to follow for establishing serial communication with microcontroller and peripherals so coming to this first one set the SCON register value means what is the SCON register value you have to assign here so whatever uh, SCON which has to follow this 50h and how to select your timer one in mode 2 by using t mod register so what is the t mod register value here t mod is equal to 20h and how to set this baud rate so for this baud rate importance so you people have to depends on the crystal oscillator frequency so how to calculate this x value here so it depends on this crystal frequency here and the crystal frequency which is 11.05 into megahertz or people are using in our hardware side so once you are setting this crystal frequency then you people are going to divide this 11.05 into with a 12 divider and then this frequency which is assigned to this on chip UART block so this on chip UART block also having a fixed divider 32 and whatever the frequency you are getting so this will be divided with your x so this is a programmable divider so once you are assigning the x value this x value decides the baud rate of your microcontroller once you are dividing this 11.05 into with a 12 so the frequency which will come 9.0.9216 megahertz and once you divide the same frequency again with your 32 which should be 0 0.0288 which is megahertz and if you people will convert into hedges then which will become 28800 hedges so because of this 11.05 into megahertz only you are getting this accurate frequency here suppose you people are looking to take other frequencies here so this frequency will come in a fraction points fraction points means so generally frequency means how can you define number of bits transmitted per second number of bits generated per second right so this 28800 hedges which is coming very accurately here without any uh, fraction point so the people are going to prefer this 11.05 into because of only this reason so if you are not getting this frequency in exact integer value so your communication is going to miss the bits so for that reason our people are working with this 11.05 into particularly and once you want to set the baud rate of microcontroller so suppose if the pc according to our pc standard baud rate supported baud rate is 9600 now your microcontroller is supporting with how much speed maximum 28800 now if you want to equate this baud rate of microcontroller with your pc so you people have to make this equation with your 9600 28800 divided by x just equate this thing with your 9600 with your requirement baud rate so if any required baud rate just you have to assign with this from this find your x value so 28800 divided by 9600 then you people will get 3 so these 3 value you have to place with your th1 register then once you are placing this x value as 3 then what is the baud rate of microcontroller right now you are equated with 9600 right so now the microcontroller baud rate is 9600 so like this by programming your x value so you people can decide the baud rate of microcontroller so that is your third step and fourth step is what start the timer so how can you start your timer by making tr1 bit as 1 and whatever the data you people want to transmit just make s buff with your a register so if you want to place any character here just you can assign with your s buff and wait until ti set to 1 and next clear ti or ri for next repetition if you have, we people have more characters in your communication then make it clear and resend your data continuously and finally stop your timer thank you